Hi, welcome back to the gym. It's Mr. Painter here. Today we are using uh, something called a pataloon. Uh, we love these. It is kind of like a racket. Uh, it has a very soft, bouncy part for the inside of the racket, and then the outside is uh, like a wire frame. They're very light. And with our pataloon, we have lots of games and activities that we're allowed to do with them. We get pretty creative with these things, so they're all over. So as you can see from the picture, when we use our pataloons today, we are using a short-handled racket. It is called a short-handled implement. We also do long-handled implements. We'll get to those later in the year. We start with the short ones because they're a little easier to handle. We talk about how to use a short-handled racket like this. So when we talk about it, our hand goes on the racket and our thumb goes on the top. So that way my thumb is pointing on the top. I don't want to hold it on the side. I don't want to hold it completely upside down. I want my thumb on the top. This is how I get my control, okay? So, we talked about the grip, very important. When we are hitting the ball, we will be using a ball, like a pom-pom, and uh, it's very light, very fluffy, doesn't make any noise. Uh, these are awesome. So, these are what we use on our paddles. So I talk about soft hits. To have control, our main objective with the paddaloon is to have control over it. Uh, we wanna be able to control the ball and try to keep it from hitting the ground. So, thumb on top, nice soft hits, not very big swings, and we have to move our feet. The reason we're moving our feet is because if I don't have that great of control, I have to go and move to it to get back to where I'm at. So my feet are constantly in motion. Now, I'll turn and show you in a little bit, and then we're gonna talk about the bucket. So what we do is we start with five in a row. So our goal for kindergarten and first grade is to be able to get one, two, three, four, and five in a row. If they can handle five in a row, uh, they've got a pretty good grasp on using the short handle racket. And when they prove that they have some ability to control it, then we add a bucket to it. And I will turn and show you that. The bucket is kind of fun, as you can see right there. I will step up by the bucket so you can see. Now our goal is not only to control the ball, but it is to use the bucket as part of our game. So what I'm gonna do is bounce and have control, but I wanna to try to get the ball into my bucket by hitting it in, or knocking it in lots of different ways to try to get the ball down in the bucket. And then we reach into the bucket. We don't touch the bucket, just the ball. We get the ball back out and we keep going. We can also back up and try to play like bozo buckets where I try to hit it into the bucket. If you miss, you scoop it up or you pick it up. I also try to tell the kids there's lots of ways to get the ball going without having to bend over and pick it up. They like to see that and then they give it a try too. We talk about scooping it with the paddle, getting underneath, lifting. Hitting it, we talk about hitting it high, hitting it low, we talk about catching it on the paddle, rolling it, all sorts of neat things. So, that is our objective today, is to get the ball into the bucket with the control and five hits in a row. So now I'm gonna play for a little bit and show you. So I'm just gonna move around and hit the ball around. I'll do it and fast forward so it's more fun. That's it. So, paddle ones are a lot of fun. The kids really, really enjoy it. I'm gonna turn you around here. Remote learners at home. So, if you're at home, if you have any kind of racket, maybe you've got a tennis ball or tennis racket, racquetball racket, maybe a badminton racket, any sort of racket will do, short handled. Then, for a ball, I know those are kind of different, not a lot of people have that. Uh, what I found, if you have any sort of softball, a tennis ball or an actual racquetball, not the best beginning because they spend more time chasing than they do actually working. The reason that we really like to use these is because um, they're soft and they don't roll anywhere. So you need something that doesn't roll a lot. So I came up with, uh, if you have a ball that works like that, awesome, good for you. If not, if you take a sock, probably a single sock, and ball it up a little bit, that will work pretty good. One, it'll be quiet and two, it won't roll over your house, and that'll keep the kids working instead of chasing. So, uh, probably the fuzzier the sock, the better. So, if you wanna give that a try, let me know how it works. And that, these are our pataloons. 
All right, have a great time. Hope you enjoy them.